My name is Badi Boros Vaivo. I'm the governorship candidate for the Labour Party for Lagos State. It just shows a lot of desperation by the ruling party. Um, what propaganda? I've always, at least I've been consistent. I've always stood for the people that stand up to speak, tell truth to power. Whether it is Sunday Boho that's standing against the incursion of herdsmen into Oyo State and standing to defend his people, or even IPOB at a point, right? They were asking about having been feeling part of Nigeria. Even NSARS, I was part of that as well. Why? Because we're demanding and holding our government accountable. It does not mean that because a movement starts a certain way and I buy into it, that I buy into the entirety of it, right? I condemn the destruction that happened after soldiers shot at peaceful protesters in Lagos State. I condemn the kidnapping and killings that are happening in the Southeast, right? I condemn whatever negative thing that the Yoruba nation might have done, right? I'm in favor of Amotekun. So I am consistent. You have people from Ijebu, who is the current governor. You have Sinubu from Iragbi Joshun State. And you have most of all these people talking, and they are not even indigenous of Lagos. My pedigree goes back over 200 plus years. It's not with, it's without controversy. I can bring receipts for four generations. So it's, it's, it's just, it's petty. It's petty. It's, petty. They don't, it's better. They don't have anything to bring out to me. They are not bringing out, uh, I'm a former drug lord, or I'm a drug addict, or I have mental health problems. Say, I've shown jives at three of them. The presidential candidate is my hero. You can call me Peter Jr. I, 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 I respect his principles. I respect that he has made love and emotion a part of our politics again. I respect the fact that he's so hardworking. I respect the fact that he's so courageous to create a new type of politics. Do you, can you imagine what it takes for a, for a presidential candidate to come out and say, we know they give shishi? and persistently stick with that. A presidential candidate that will always go and meet the people. He does not turn down opportunities to engage with the people while we had other presidential candidates that were running away from debates. So he's a role model. He's someone I look up to and I'm proud to be associated with him. Nothing is going to happen. Come out and vote. You see that last time, they deceived us, all the security patrols, the chairman of INEC saying that we're going to have electronic transmission. We've seen their hand come out and vote. It's going to be a completely different experience, I assure you of that.